Hello, welcome pen friends. We're gonna talk about cleaning fountain pens today. And this is not a video about how to clean them. This is more of a, a video with tips on how to make sure that you will clean them. <laughs> if that makes sense, it might make more sense as we go along. Okay, so first of all, my first tip is to store your things near your sink if you can. At the end, we'll talk about what to do if you can't. But this is what I do. Um, I have this little bin right here. Let's see, we'll move this one over. And this is right near my stainless steel sink in the kitchen. And I put all my essentials for cleaning the pens and a little bit of extra here because these three items have to do with filling and indexing. But uh, I've got Q-tips, that helps a lot with, with the caps. A lot of times I end up uh, rinsing and cleaning out caps. These are my to be cleaned pens. And those come in super, super handy. There's just no end to what you can do with a Q-tip to help you with your cleaning. So there's that. And then of course I have my syringes. And uh, they're old and they probably look ugly, but they're clean. They don't have much in the way of uh, uh, numbers on them anymore. But I've got those. I always keep one extra Lamy um, converter here too cleaned and ready because I have a devil of a time sometimes cleaning the Lamy converters and they often end up soaking so I try to keep one ahead ready. These are my uh, nib and feed puller that my first line of defense. These are lobster bands that I heard about and got from my uh, friend, a pen friend, uh, Chris. And so they're those. And then uh, this item, we'll talk about more later, but this is one that actually, uh, it's a bulb syringe, but it's got a special name and I got it at Radio Shack. But I'm gonna show you when we get around to it why I have this one. Um, in addition to the regular bulb syringe, which I have a new one, whoops, that I got at uh, Walmart, but this is my older one. It's probably gonna be on its way out soon, but I try to keep them till I need to replace them. And then I keep a paintbrush so that I can keep my little in index book. I bring that over with me and while I'm filling my pen, if I'm gonna fill a pen, then I wanna go ahead and do my little swatch. I keep uh, this so that I can put my, um, my ink uh, sample vial and not tip it over if I have to empty out any ink into here. So, you know, into a vial, so that's handy. I, I actually, I have some glass ones, but I like this one for by the sink. You know, it's plastic, I'm not gonna drop it, or, or you know, if I do, it doesn't matter. And then this is my ink miser. It has a stain, but it doesn't hurt it any. It just means that every time I rinse it to make sure that's the stain and not something else. So these are the things I keep right by the sink. And then there's a couple other items. Let me drag those over, and then we'll talk about this little container here. I love these. These are the salsa jars that I get all the time from uh, H-E-B, my grocery store, and I keep the lids and everything because there's all kinds of different things I use them for, and for some reason our city doesn't uh, recycle the glass, so that's unfortunate, but I wash them and reuse them. I use them for painting and for, you know, for just filling up so that I can uh, not run the water constantly, but I can use my bulb syringe with these. So I usually have at least two by the sink, and I don't I, I've been known to have four, and then pretty soon someone might say, why are there so many salsa jars? And that someone is not me, but anyway. <laughs> okay, the other item, I do keep the pen flush near the sink. I didn't use to, but, and I don't use a lot of this. This is the only pen flush I've ever had, and I've only used about uh, three quarter inches of it uh, on a stubborn section one time, or you know, just a couple little things I've used it for. I usually don detergent is all I need and that's already by my sink. So that was the first tip. Keep, keep your supplies as close at hand as you can, if possible. Okay, the next thing is I just love cardboard and this, what you're seeing here is an old piece of cardboard. It's, it's got all kinds of scribbles and stuff. And then I, I, I have a hard time throwing away these paper towels. They, they get so pretty. So I don't throw them away. I just end up putting another one on top. And, uh, you know, only pen people would understand that. So this is one that I, I have this little shelf that I can just uh, push this into. And it's totally out of sight until I'm ready to use it. And then the second cardboard item I like is just the bottom of a cat food um, box where you know the little the little cat food 
cans are in there and then I put the paper towel on the bottom and I've been known to use this for a lot of different things mainly for when I'm going to take an ink syringe and do uh, the little ink splatters for either a review or just to look at or to send to a pen friend I'll put the paper in here and it, it as you can see it catches most of it and of course my sink area is real easy to clean anyway but it's nice that it catches most of that and a lot of times if I'm feeling just a little bit weird about a pen like I know something's probably going to leak then I'll use this instead of the flat one so I do I like these and I use them till they're shot and then I throw you know recycle them throw them away whichever usually they're still able to be recycled they're just a little bit painted so that's the second one uh, you know go ahead and I don't even know what this cardboard was I, it, it's surely I need a new one I was just looking at it I'll be looking for a new one because it got a little bit warped but I like that one okay so um, wow I just stopped talking okay that's probably a good time to go to this uh, to this part here and that the next tip is have something to collect your things that need to be cleaned when I started doing this it changed everything because then I, I had a central place to put my um, ink vials and pens that need to be cleaned. Now, there are times when I'll do a whole pen case clean out and I'll just bring my whole pen case, take all the pens out, you know, have them there by the sink. But as I'm going along, I, I had found like this pen here. This is the Fabric Castile Loom and my husband was using it uh, with uh, Noodler's heart of darkness and it's got an extra fine nib it's one of the few pens he can write with he's a lefty and uh, then I found this one that this is a preppy and I just thought why is that you know why is there still ink in it anyway it needs to be cleaned and shame on me I don't know how that managed to happen okay so I uh, normally it's a at least once a month I do a complete clean out but these three are going to be done later tonight and then this one was a review pen that, that I reviewed but I was also using it long after so it just needs to be clean okay so that's that's tip three is have a place to to deposit your pens um, in between and I actually it'll either live on my desk or if I'm getting serious about it I'll bring it over to the sink and then every time I wash dishes it'll be like, okay time to do this um, I, it really isn't a chore. I like to do pen cleaning, but we can, as humans, we put things off. But I was going to show you this and tell you more about it. This is the bulb syringe that I got from Radio Shack. It's called a vacuum desoldering bulb. I don't, you know, quite know what it's really for. All I know is I saw it on uh, Chris's channel, and then I realized that it was super for these preppies. So when you're going to go and clean a preppy, um, you can use this one but the thing is that it doesn't quite go all the way in and I didn't want to cut another one I do have a cut one but it was cut for something different it wasn't quite right so you know sometimes you can cut these just right but it may only be good for one or two pens but this one I just use this to draw up the water and then it goes right in there and it does so good and since I use so many of the platinum preppies I really like that piece how that fits it's just perfect and I've got a few pens where it just fits just barely like that but as long as I maintain enough pressure um, it won't squirt around the edges I couldn't find the pen and a lot of times I forget and then when I go to clean it I'll say oh yeah that's one of those that needs this one and it, I think it was five dollars I kind of balked at the price but then I, I really use it all the time especially for this pen it just fits perfectly right on there and you could clean these so easily with this so that was what I had promised to show you there so you can see I've got three pens and four ink ink sample vials that I need to clean out okay so the thing that I wanted to mention was a lot of people probably won't want to have this all out or somebody else in the household will object or someone will get into it like little kids or it so you may just want to do something like what I'll show you next I'm going to pause it and then uh, bring it in and, and show you what I would suggest for that 
Okay, so this little beauty is sort of a, it's, it's flatter than it is deep, and it's a, a Dollar Tree little basket. And what I would recommend then, if you want to keep everything put away, is just uh, take one of these and put it in there anyway, it'll fit. Let's see. You could put your pens in there too, but probably my little basket like this will live right on my desk. And then, you know, just put whatever it is you want to have there in here, any way that it'll fit, basically. Yeah. And like this is, you know, that's a monstrosity. Um, my smaller one is much better, and that would work probably just, just like this. And then you can just have this basket and bring that over. And believe me, I've learned from experience that the more I can do the work ahead of time, have everything in one place, and clean it out often, because this will get full. With me, this gets full of every imaginable thing you can think of. You know, but about every couple of weeks, I go ahead and take out the, <laughs> the little things that, like extra paintbrushes get in here, and uh, I'll end up with more of these vials that I've already cleaned out. Don't ask me why. They should, you know, there should be a procedure for that, but not quite uh, got it perfected. Oh, I've got one more thing as we close that I did want to tell you because it was a tip that I got. Uh, but before that, just, you know, so my tip would be take this basket and find just a place for it out of sight if it bothers you. I am so lucky that my kitchen, nobody cares. I'm the one that washes the dishes. Um, I do, I would say 75% of the cooking and my husband, uh, it, it doesn't bother him what's beside the sink because I'm the one that washes the dishes unless I'm like <laughs> on my deathbed. <laughs> so shh, don't tell him that I said that. Okay, um, so on to the tip. This is a tip that um, someone who, I, I wish I could remember who it was, but a viewer gave the tip to me and I want to pass it on to you. When your ink syringes get old, um, not, not a whole, whole lot I can do about the fact that the numbers are worn off. But these syringes get real tough to pull and they, they aren't supposed to really be like that. They're supposed to be smooth. And this, this newer one is quite smooth. You know, no problem operating that real easily. But when they get hard to um, operate, this viewer said just take the silicone grease and um, this is a clean syringe, even though it, it's got some staining a little bit. And just put it just, uh, you know, lightly around that uh, rubber part. And I was just amazed what that does. And it lasts for a long time. I haven't done this one. I may not have ever done this particular one. So you just kind of put a little on there. And then, well, now I've got it all over me, but... <laughs> Luckily, I have more paper towel over here. So then that really helps. And just, you know, run it up and down a few times. And then there, it just really does help. I don't, I could have probably put a little more, but that's all I need. I just want to make sure that I'm not having to use, uh, you know, both hands to push it in because that's not right. So that that's a tip that I learned here from a viewer. And I really appreciated learning that, so... But mostly, I'm just trying to inspire you to uh, keep your stuff together by the sink or in a basket, and you will find yourself happier cleaning pans and more often cleaning pans. I like these colors, too, that they have at the Dollar Tree. That You can organize just about anything quickly with those things. And uh, like I said, I like how the colors land on the paper towels. So um, I got a new one underneath there, but I just couldn't part yet with the, the colorful ones. So I hope this was useful to, to you. And uh, I'd love to hear any of what you use to clean and uh, maybe and fill your pans and what items am I missing. And because I learned something new every day and that's what makes it really fun. So I'll see you on the next video. And I hope you have a great day or evening whenever you're watching. Bye for now.